There are many different molecules involved in the complement system. They are found in the tissue fluids and the blood. Control molecules and receptors for complement are found on the surface of diverse cell types. Complement C3 is central to the complement system. It can become activated either by the classical pathway or the alternative pathway or the lectin pathway. The classical pathway is triggered when antibody binds to the surface of a pathogen such as bacteria and activates C4 and C2. The alternative pathway is triggered by interactions of factors B, D, P, and C3B at the surface of the pathogen. Both classical and alternative pathways generate a C3 convertase, which splits C3 into two fragments, C3A and C3B. C3B can now bind covalently to the surface of the pathogen. Should these reactions take place on the surface of a cell, such as an incompatible erythrocyte, C3B can bind to that also. C3B on the surface of pathogens allows them to be recognized by C3B receptors on phagocytes. Meanwhile, C3A and other fragments diffuse away from the site of the reaction to signal other cells in the vicinity. The free fragments C3A and C5A diffuse to mast cells which lie in the tissue near blood vessels. These mast cells have receptors for C3A and C5A. When the fragments bind, granules within the mast cells fuse with the cell membrane, releasing inflammatory mediators such as histamine. The histamine acts on the blood vessel wall, where it triggers contraction of the endothelial cells, rendering the vessel wall more permeable, and it acts on smooth muscle to increase blood flow. Another function of the fragment C5A is one of guidance. As they diffuse from the point of infection, they become more widely dispersed. On encountering the endothelial cells of a blood vessel, they become attached. This triggers macrophages and neutrophils from within the circulatory system to start migration into the tissue. When the macrophage reaches the marked site, it can pass through the endothelial wall and travels towards the site of infection by following the increasing concentration gradient of C5A. When the macrophage reaches the target pathogen, it can recognize it from the C3B, an antibody bound to its surface using its receptors for C3B and FC of immunoglobulin. When the pathogen or antigen becomes attached to the macrophage by these receptors, it initiates the process of phagocytosis. Pseudopodia extend around the pathogen so that it is internalized and ultimately destroyed within the phagocytic cell. The complement molecules are further involved in lysis of cells and gram-negative bacteria. After activation of the classical or alternative pathways, an enzyme called C5 convertase is produced. When this encounters C5, it splits into free C5A and C5B. C5B goes on to react with free C6 and C7, which attach to plasma membranes, and this reacts with C8 and C9 to form a membrane attack complex. This membrane attack complex is able to perforate the outer membrane of gram-negative bacteria, allowing access for lysozyme and so contributing to bacterial death by lysis. A similar process occurs when incompatible transfused red cells are lysed by the recipient's complement system.